Okay, so we are going to uh, solve this system of three equations with three variables. Um, first thing I want to do is figure out what I want to eliminate, okay? Uh, I want to look for opposites. I notice that right off, if I label these A, B, and C, just so we can distinguish between the three equations, I notice that the first coefficient in A and B uh, these are opposites. 2 and negative 2 are opposites. So I'm going to pick those so that I can eliminate the x. So what I'm going to do is I have a, I'll rewrite a as 2x minus 2y plus z equals 5. And negative 2x plus 3y plus 2z equals negative 1. So I'll label that b. So first off, I see these are opposites, so they cancel. And so then I have negative 2y plus 3y is y. And then I have z plus 2z is plus 3z. And then I have 5 minus 1, which equals, so this equals 4. Now I have an equation I'm going to label d. Now in order to find my, uh, my fifth equation, which is e, what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what I can combine with the equation of A and B and C that I did not use. So I did not use C yet, so I have to use C. So I'm going to pick that. I have C, which is x minus 4y plus 5z equals 4. And I need to uh, get rid of the x term. So uh, I'm going to pick B because B has an opposite sign of this, this is positive and this is negative. So I'm gonna make it negative, right, negative 2x plus 3y plus 2z is equal to negative one. Now, x is not the opposite of negative two. Two, is, or sorry, x is not the opposite of negative 2x. Uh, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna multiply this whole top equation so that the result will be the opposite of negative 2. So in order to do that, I'm going to multiply the whole top equation by 2. Okay? So that'll give me uh, 2x minus 8y plus 10z equals 4. Okay? So this one is also c. It's just C multiplied by 2. So now I can do my linear combinations again, and I get, uh, this cancels out, and then I get negative 5y, and I get plus 12z equals 3. And this is now my equation E. So I have D and E. So I'll rewrite D and E over here, okay? So I have D, and that's Y plus 3Z equals 4, and E is negative 5Y plus 12Z equals 3, okay? Now, I want to pick which one do I want to get rid of. I think the easiest thing to do is to get rid of the y's because I can multiply the whole top equation by 5. So I'll rewrite d underneath here. So it'll be 5y plus 15z equals 20. Okay? So I'm going to, let's make sure I did all these right. Ah, this should have actually been 8. That changes things, doesn't it? Makes this so that this is actually 7. Okay, so changing that up here. This is 7. There we go. That's better. Now when we do linear combinations... This becomes 27, and this is 27z. Those cancel. We're left with 27z is equal to 27. 
Divide both sides by 27. Z is equal to 1. Okay, now I can plug that Z into that equation. So Y plus 3 times 1 equals 4. Y plus 3 equals 4. Subtract 3, subtract 3. Y is also equal to 1. All right, now I need to find X. So to find X, I plug in Z and Y into one of those equations. Notice right here that the X does not have a coefficient on it, so it would be easiest to plug them into uh, equation C. So I will call this I got X minus 4Y, but Y we just said is 1, right? Plus 5 times 1 equals 4. So now I have x minus 4 plus 5 equals 4. So x, combine some like terms here. So x plus 1 equals 4. Subtract 1, subtract 1. x equals 3. So x equals 3. Y equals 1, Z equals 1. So our final answer is 3, 1, 1. You stop it.